Hey everybody, it's Dan Spear at www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com. Today, really quickly, uh, the post that I want to do today is about placebo and what happens to you, the trial participant, if you end up getting placebo. And first of all, let's define what most uh, let's define what a placebo is. A placebo is a sugar pill. It's nothing. You're taking a uh, basically a sugar pill. Uh, but you don't know whether you're getting the placebo or the real drug. They both look the same. So they want to see how people taking the placebo or the sugar pills respond versus how the people taking the study drug will respond in any particular trial. And the data is collected and analyzed and theoretically the people taking the study drug should do better for whatever condition they have than the people on placebo. Uh, now that's not always the case. There is some an interesting phenomenon called the placebo effect, which we won't get into in this post, but we you can search for it on our blog. Just type in placebo effect or placebo, and you'll you'll see the video. Uh, I actually am not a clinician, so I'm not the guru on this topic. But we interview doctors, and they they are definitely uh, qualified to to discuss this subject. But anyways, most studies are double blind, so that means that the participant or the study doctor, neither one of them know who is getting the placebo and who's getting the actual study drug. Nobody knows, so they're called they these are called double blind studies. Now. They look the same. If you compare a placebo to the regular study medication, they both look identical. You can't tell the difference. Uh, they have no smell. Some people claim that the placebo uh, tastes different, but uh, I haven't been able to confirm that. Um, now, neither you nor the study doctor knows whether you're getting placebo, but in some in some particular studies, it becomes obvious really quick. So, in theory, the people who take placebo are supposed to, especially if they're taken off their current medication and put on a placebo for the purpose of the study, in theory at least, their condition is supposed to get worse. And so a lot of people have the fear of, you know, if I'm, if I'm in a study and I'm getting a placebo, you know, I don't want my condition to completely deteriorate and then, you know, I'm left, I'm left hanging. Like, what's going to happen? So, there's something called rescue meds. And in any clinical trial, if the doctor or the study staff or the participant complains or, or shows that their condition is getting worse, the doctor can make an educated assumption that that person is getting a placebo and they can introduce the rescue medications basically to keep the person out of the hospital. So let's use the example of schizophrenia. If someone with schizophrenia joins a schizophrenia trial, let's say he's getting a placebo and the other guy is getting the study drug. Well, the guy getting the placebo, chances are, I mean, he, his condition may, may deteriorate rapidly and to the point where he starts hallucinating or, you know, hearing things and it becomes rather obvious. Um, and in that case, the doctor, in order to keep him out of the hospital, can, can uh, introduce the rescue meds, which basically is the current standard of treatment for that disorder uh, that's already approved. So in this case, he would give a drug that he knows that the patient will respond well to. Um, and of course, he will be, the patient will have to be discontinued from the trial. But it's not like we just withdraw you from the study and send you home. You know, they're going to introduce the rescue meds. They may have to um, put you in the hospital for a few days to make sure that you stabilize on the new medication. Um, and then they're going to do follow-ups or either do follow-ups with you that are free, they can't charge you or your insurance company, or they'll refer you to your, your doctor and let them know what's going on, usually with a written letter and a phone call. And so, you know, if, if, uh, cause a lot of people have this fear of, well, I don't want to get a placebo, you know, I'm interested in the study, 
there is that uh, uh, this option of rescue meds. So that's the thing. And not all clinical trials have placebo. In the United States, life-threatening illnesses or conditions like cancer or AIDS or anything else that may jeopardize someone's life by not being on a medication are not allowed to use placebo. So they have to use either the study drug or the best standard of treatment already out on the market. Now, drug companies, they prefer comparing their drug versus placebo because the results should be much more accurate, right? Because you're testing a, a product versus a sugar pill. So the product or the study drug should definitely show that it's working a lot better than that sugar pill. Uh, now, when you're testing a study drug versus another standard treatment that's already on the market, it's a lot harder to prove that this drug is better than this one. But as far as placebo, um, if your condition deteriorates, it's important for you to speak up. Tell your doctor, hey, you know, I'm, I'm doing a lot worse. Uh, I think there's a good chance I may be getting placebo. What do you think? And then at that point, each protocol is different, but most of them allow some type of rescue medication to help the condition um, in cases of the person getting placebo. Hope that helps. Um, if you have anything else, there is a lot more uh, details to discuss about this topic, but we'll leave that for another day because I've gone on too long. Um, but anyways, if you want to learn more about placebo, the placebo effect, just search our blog and let us know what you think. www.theclinicaltrialsguru.com Thank you very much.